Alright, the app I'm picking out today is Stretching Exercises. Uh, it's a free app, so you can add here at the beginning. So once you get past that, um, you'll make a login at the beginning. Once again, it is free. Um, once you get your login, you'll be presented with what you want your weekly goal to be. I just set mine for two days a week, um, and my week starts on Sundays. Um, up on your dashboard, or what you'll come to every day, you'll start off with your report, basically what you've had in the past, um, and then the week that you're on now, and where you are with your goal. As you see, I'm one out of two. Um, and then it gives you some suggestions for your routine. So all these exercises are based around stretching. And what's nice is it comes with some already pre-planned workouts. Um, so as you see on the morning warm-up and sleepy time stretching, they already have these set exercises where you can see exactly what it is at the top. It's four minutes long. It's got ten workouts. Um, and next to each workout gives you a demonstration as to what you want to do. If there's something that you don't want to do or you want to change it up, in the top right corner, you can see this little edit icon. If you hit on that, you can just change the order. If you don't like it or if you want to move it around, you can. Um, one thing I did see is you can't actually just get rid of a workout, but you can swap a workout. So if I didn't want to do these reverse crunches at the top, I can hit on the right side those two arrows and I can change it out with some different type of workout so it's still that four minutes and once I'm done with that I just hit save and then I can go through and I can do that workout um, if I go back a little bit some of these further down um, I did knee pain relief earlier today you see it's got a, a star up there it's one of the premium ones. Again, you don't have to pay for it, but it'll ask you. You have to watch a video before you do it. And this video, it takes about a minute or so. Um, so you'll still get to do it. It's just, you just have a little bit of time. Um, it has different ones for runners, from lower body. Um, but what I really want to get into is up on the side menu. If you go to my training, you can pick out different workouts on your own. I made one earlier as an example, back and leg stretch. Uh, my thought behind this is if you're going through a certain unit for um, certain workouts for your body, let's say you want to do back exercises, you can go ahead and have your students pull out um, a warm-up stretch. Basically, if you want to do maybe a minimum of 10 exercises or instead of a number of exercises you want to do it for a certain amount of time uh, you can go through and do that so if I wanted to make one say I want to pick um, overhead arm circles I can decide how long I want to do it for um, and then if I'm not sure what it is I can click on this video icon and it'll show me exactly how to do it and it'll connect with YouTube number three is we won't get into that one too much but once I like that I can hit add and it puts it into my workout and then I can continue with this green uh, plus sign at the bottom right if I want to add some more and I can go through and just continue down um, for me I'm not gonna go ahead and save this one um, I want to go to the one that I already have on some of these like calf stretch left or calf stretch right if you add one of these the right or the left the opposite automatically gets added in there so you get both sides equally stretched out you can't just accidentally get only one leg or one arm um, and once you have that down if you want to start it we'll go through this example ready to go start with double knees to chest the app will talk you through how to do the exercises and give you tips on please do this on a mat on what it is you are stretching three what you need to do. two one so get your countdown. Start. 20 seconds. Double knees to chest. 
and when you actually start it, I can't skip ahead. It helps to restore flexibility to your lower back half the time. No, I can't skip ahead and just move on to the next one. I have to go through each exercise. So it helps the student stick with Three, it. two, one. Take a rest. Next, 20 seconds. Calf stretch right. Please no, stand in front of a wall. Three, <laughs> two, one. So I just went ahead and paused it. What I can do is I can skip through the rest times if I want to move on straight to the next exercise. Perfect shot! And what's really convenient is... Hold on and think about why you started. There's a company called Acorns that we just... In, in Acorns? It's rounding up your purchases into the last dollar this app um but what's nice is i'll come back here and i'll click on reports and on reports it's going to show me exactly what i've done this week um if i click on see sunday i click on that one it'll show me exactly what workouts i've done this day and how many calories i burned or how long i did the workout for and so this is another way that if i have my students do it i could have them screenshot me this image here because as you see on that one that we just started and I ended it early, it only shows 38 seconds. So I can't really cheat myself out of it. Um, and this way it gives the students, they can see exactly how many calories they did, um, how long they did their workouts for in this calendar view. So you can see the whole month. Um, again, I think it's really good. Students are able to customize their own workouts. Um, they can pick some already pre-plan ones and um, definitely bring this into the classroom and help out the unit and accelerate the learning process so this is my app if you have any questions feel free to ask